Welcome to Latricia Creates. I am Latricia. In today's video, we're going to be etching a tumbler using citrus grit. Let's take a look at the material we're going to use for this project. For this project, we need a tumbler, we need citrus strip, a paintbrush, a stencil, some transfer tape for the stencil. We need a weeding tool or something to pick at it with. A scraping tool to lay down the transfer with. Some masking tape to mask around so none of the citrus strip leaks onto parts of the cup that we don't want it on. Some shop towels or paper towels. Heat gloves. Wipes. Something to clean the tumbler with. I have alcohol and a coffee filter. We need a heat gun. Some gloves and a piece of aluminum foil. Also, some protective glasses. I was reading the back of the citrus strip bottle and it says to protect your hands with chemical resistant gloves and eyes with chemical splash goggles. So I think it's a good idea to wear goggles along with the gloves. So I'm going to be sure to grab my goggles as well. And I have a little cup to pour the citrus strip into to paint it on. The lady who came up with this idea, her name is Adrienne and her company is called M2C1 Designs. I saw a video she did on YouTube. I've never done this before. I don't know if this tumbler is going to work or not, but I'm going to try it out. We're going to find out together whether or not this works. You ready? Let's make it. The first thing I want to do is clean off my tumbler, but I need to move some of this stuff out of the way. I just haven't tied too much stuff here. Oh, you also need something to hold your tumbler with. Next thing I want to do is put my stencil on the transfer tape. Then put it onto the tumbler. Now we want to make sure there are no air bubbles in our stencil. And to, to ensure that we don't have any bubbles, we're going to take our heat gun, put it on the low heat setting, and spread it around. I don't see any air bubbles. I think we're good to go. Now, I'm going to put on my gloves and get ready to apply the citrus strip. Oh no, before I do that, I need to seal off the cup just in case some of it leaks around. That ought to do it. Now, I'm going to put my gloves on and get ready to apply the citrus strip. According to the directions, it says that I need to shake it. So I'm going to shake it well. So now I'm going to take the paintbrush and start putting it on here. She said that you should put it on in a thick layer. So I'm going to put it on mm, moderately thick. Now that it's all covered, I'm going to put the piece of foil on and put the heat gun on low heat again and spread it around, being careful not to let it sit in one place. I'll raise the foil up. Oh, I see it's starting to come off. But this is the part where she said people get so excited when they see it starting to come off that they think it's ready and it's not necessarily ready. So I'm going to lift the foil up and 
put a little more of this around on there. This time I'm going to let it sit for a couple of minutes. It looks like it might be ready, but I'm going to I'm going to let it sit for another couple of minutes. Put a little more heat on it. I think it's ready. So now I'm going to dab away some of this citrus strip. Uh-oh. I see a little air bubble that might have got underneath it. Oh, no. I'm going to go rinse it off in the sink. I'll be right back. So I rinsed it off in the sink. Now I'm just going to take a paper towel and dry it off and start taking this stuff off. I'm going to take a wipe and start wiping away at it and see what we get. This is really exciting. I, I am really excited about this. This is so cool. This is really, really cool. I like it a lot. I still need to clean it up some, but it looks pretty good. Other than where that citrus strip went under that leaf there. Let me grab another paper towel and try to wipe off some more. These lines aren't as clean as I was expecting, but that might be because I... I need to put a little more elbow grease. So, I'm going to put a little more elbow grease with this paper towel. That's it. It's working now. Oh, my goodness. This is starting to look good. Oh, wow. This is so exciting. Here we have it. Our citrus strip etch tumbler. It came out so nice. I really, really like this. I'm going to go clean it up some more, wash it off in the sink, and I'll be back to show you the final project. Here is a closer look at our final project. It came out really nice. I am so excited about this project. The only issue that I had was the one that I talked about earlier, which is where it seeped through a little bit on this leaf. But other than that, it came out really nice. I didn't have to do any scrubbing with any type of abrasive scrubber or anything like that. Just the paper towel and the wet wipes. That's all I needed. And it came out really good. So I'm really pleased with this project. I hope you're able to make one as well. I also hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep creating.